Greetings, dear gamers. Sparrow is here, and welcome back to, well, 840 days gone because, well, I slept through a whole day. <laughs> you know, happens to the best of us. Sometimes after, you know, even in the post-apocalypse, after a long, hard day of work and, and other stuff, you just get so tired, you just sleep through a whole day. Happens, happens. Happens Corporal to the best of us. Hey, what are you doing here? Sarge, good to see you. What do you want, huh? What do you want, huh? Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, you fucking fuck. Where's, where's, where's your Nazi armband, huh? You don't have a Nazi armband. Huh. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> This is this is some Venom type shit, you know, Venom, uh, the movie with um, Tom Hardy, you know, like that, like when he's he's like a Two Face and shit. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Why not? <laughs> it looks weird, All right? <clears throat> Anywho, somebody wants to talk to us over here. Who was that? What's this all about? Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? <laughs> Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't, like, something's gonna happen to the dock in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. Tight, tight, tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> okay. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Mr. Rasbien, you'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece. It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going Matt's somewhere? carrot. Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, with Corpo no, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No entiendo. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. He Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Oh. So, so is, is, is that why, <clears throat> even though Colonel Matt Carrot is, is such a, you know, religious type kind of guy, he's still very tol tolerant towards um, gays and bisexuals and uh, transsexuals is because he himself like likes to up the ante, you know. Um, so what do we do next? Uh, we basically have everything we wanted to. So what do we do next? Mm, nah. Well, sprinting, eh, it's all shit. You know what? Yeah, let's do that one. I, I didn't I do this already? I think I did this already, but all right. It doesn't matter. Wait, what are we? We are level th level thirty. We still need to level up fifteen more levels. Fifty percent of our levels that we have so far, we have to level up again to to get everything to get all the experience points to get this trophy over here um, which says Mr. Fahrenheit yes unlock 45 skills 
unlock 30 skills. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. We need 16 more. <laughs> because on level 1, we didn't have one skill. Fucking hell, how long is this game? <laughs> Jesus. Hey, yo, Jesus. So, who are we gonna talk to now? I just, I just went down here, like a like a moth, towards the light. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. Well, I got one up my ass. But uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath. Dude, I could you check can't out. get what I need there. You. <laughs> God, do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you'd get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just, I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? <laughs> well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh my God, if you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Okay, question. Um, what the fuck are we writing during the night? Doesn't seem like a smart idea to ride during the night on your fucking bicycle with all the noise and all the zombies. You know. Not Going smart. Somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in the ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know? Considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? I, we're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniform. You know, there is that. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having uh, bear problems. Bear problems? Hey, why do you have energy around here? Hey, this house is energy. <clears throat> why? There are no cables.
How does this house have any power? It shouldn't have. Oh, hello, people. How are you doing? Hey, hey. shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from. To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Bitch. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spend all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. <laughs> I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Um, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know, Boozer's arm got fucked up, and I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't want to... I didn't want to let him down, so I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's that's when I really wanted to. That's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring, and that's that's what kept me going. I figured I'd look you up, get it back. But you know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. You trying to convince me or you? That's a big ass tunnel over there. We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tealson Tunnel. I mean, this pass isn't really much of a secret, is it? I mean, look at that. Just go to the tunnel, then up the pass, which, you know, it's got it anyways, but guys. So the militia, militia knows. To move that out of the way. My God, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult they cut themselves they worshiped the freaks they wanted to be like them and um <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them how do we deal with them if we run into them we ain't gonna run into them you can help me move this or what yeah sure well there's still some rippers left so we might run into some Now, who put that car in here, in the way? We came here the first place. The car wasn't there, so. Yo, ass. You wanna come? Thank you. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. 
Traffic had been backed up at a Nero checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. Yeah. It's something crawling in the woods. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Huh, it's right up here. Really? Oh, yeah. Huh? And now we can't go in, in the map? Really? Okay, that, yeah. <laughs> so, if, if, that's the thing, if I put, so, left and right now, doesn't matter. Uh-huh. Oh, it's an iron butte. Okay. It's a butte, all right. It's a butte. So we can go further up north. Those camps are still out of reach. Reach! Reach! But what's not out of reach is this black loading screen with its stupid ass ugly ring. <laughs> That is always nearby. Wow. wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. You guys are a little more high tech than I remember. <laughs> Seven hundred fifty one days. So what the fuck was she doing here ninety days after? All went to shit. Now the thing is, um seven hundred forty one days, that's pretty much guaranteed. I think we started what with seven hundred and thirty five, thirty four days something. In days gone, and um, yeah, so it's pretty much guaranteed that you that she has been inside here. After that bitch, that really bitch. Nice. If Aerie's not intelligent, she's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie. Artificial intelligence response interface. Oh my god. What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be. It, it, it's the and... irrigation system. It's all self automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said, the power is still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on! And of course, smart-ass Deacon leaves the bike right at the gate, so... And the gate's still open. Why is the gate still open? It should open, close automatically. But, you know... The game's got a game, and less than mediocre writers are putting up a story and a, a scene, quote unquote.
Oh, thank you for that loading screen again. Like, what the fuck, man? So we had one loading screen. We had a 10 sec or 20 second loading screen for a five second scene. And then we get another 10 seconds for what now? Another 10 seconds. made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. Quiet. What the hell happened here? I don't know. What? Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. So, you know, everybody who works in this biggest facility, which houses probably like two, three thousand people, so something. someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Like, I just went two steps ahead. It's like, come on. Just come Someone the fuck on. Them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know. I wasn't here. Oh, you were here. Three months later, to give the order. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. Because why would it? <clears throat> so okay, so why is um what'd you call it? Airy? Why is Airy working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been what, two years? Funny how, you know, Airy is just Siri, <laughs> but you <laughs> just put a typo on your keyboard. <laughs> there you go. Why not Weary or, or Deary? <laughs> or Queery? God damn it. I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir. You know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you and we're not here to stay! Oh god, let us in! <sighs> oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I got an idea. Come on. 
There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Look at all that food. It's a perfect camp right here. Perfect city camp. I mean, you have a... Here, this is it. So you have solar panels. You have... Um, Gigantic area, we got apparently a nuclear power plant. Have to figure out how to get up there. Uh, then you also only have to figure out how to get um, more um, suitable uranium. Hold on, hold on. Uh, for that power plant. I can shoot the latch. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. No, only once actually. <laughs> only once. Oh, good. Ah, great. I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna let Jim, us in. Jim. Jim, the rent -a cop, Jim. <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up. That, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Fire. Get down. Mother fuck. You were saying? Yeah. Oh, this won't stop me anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. All right. Now, I'm pretty sure the game is going to have an explanation for that. Because that's one thing I got to give the game. They normally have an explanation for pretty much everything. Um, So... Well, there's that. Alert. Do whatever you can to distract them. I'll send you when it's clear. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Hey, you well, these are. Oh, okay, they said Marauders in the subtext, but it's not Marauders, it's the security. Shoot those goddamn sleepers. Your voice is driving me fucking crazy. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Hey, you! Warning. Whoever's shooting, stop! I have clearance to be here! You can check the computer. My name is Sarah Whitaker, research specialist. ID number two zero zero seven six five nine. Alert. Check the goddamn Alert. computer. Nine one one has been called. Damn it! Police. Do you hear me? I have clearance. Find Jim Moore. He was head of security. Well, if they don't want to talk, woman, we're not gonna talk. Clear. It's all clear. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Ah, sons of bitches. Damn, son of a That was pretty bad. I love Alert. this weapon. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be launched. All right, I'm with you. Alert. Alert. This is a level 4 alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Wait, who is that? Security personnel to Oh, son of a bitch.
Use this. <laughs> well, if we shoot the lock, it wouldn't be. But you can't shoot the lock. Yeah, I can always use this. For stupid reasons. Good. Locked. Hold on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker, Warning. security Deadly has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Warning. Deadly Override. Is ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh, God, shut the fuck up already. Alert. They must Alert. not have locked out inner security. Has you ready? Called. Yeah, this time, let me go in first. Stand down and you hey, this time, hard. we go in together. Finally, Jesus. Shit. Snipers up there in the Alert. Roof. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Gotta love this gun. Fucking love this gun. Nice shot, but keep your head down. Where's the other one? Oh, there's him. Headshot. Boom, bitches. One more time. Sarah Irene would have to two zero zero seven six five nine security override and disable the fucking Multiple voice shots response. Have been fired. Security personnel to well, the building. Ready? Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said, a lot's changed. For use against all trespassers. Warning. Let's make sure it's clear. Yeah, on it. They've been sleeping in here, bunking down and whatnot. Yeah, this is a nice ass encampment right here. Look at that, they Same got a here. kitchen and all that shit. Alert. Alert. This is out. Shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Okay, it's clear. Classified by this research. Uh -huh. Very, very classified. Classical. So what do we have? It? Nero Intel Sad. Ah. In it. Hmm. Rip sermons. Okay. Okay. Undiscovered completely. One is still completely undiscovered. Now, where is that? Colonel speeches. Hmm. Hmm. I'd have to look for it. I don't know. All right, screw it. Come on, Deadly let's try the door. Is authorized. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, Alert. your Alert. security clearance has been revoked. Has been Please Police see an IT administrator way. for Stand assistance. And you will not be harmed. Fucking bitch! Hey, hey, going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh yeah, you got one? Alert. 
Alert. Maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that Multiple rooftop from here? Security Over personnel here. to the maintenance building. Okay, there's a ledge out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up Morning. there, Generally, lay down suppressing fire, keep off their off attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, Morning. I'm gonna take Deadly it by surprise. Is okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? Oh, shit. Alert. Come on, Alert. I have an idea. Alert. has been what? called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Alert. Alert. Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Multiple shots have been yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. 5429009. Got it. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Here. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. I'm sorry, guys. Alert. Alert. Ready? Yep. Set. You got it? Go. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Your attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. Kidding me? These days, that's all I do. Okay. Warning. Deadly Go. force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Jim Moore! I know what you're in there! You? Answer me, goddammit! Deacon Lee St. John. ID 5429009. Good Lee, St. John. Up there! Welcome She's to up there! Research Iron Butte facility. Doesn't have to go this down is like your this. first login. Please. Come on! Disable voice Get response. Her. Alert. Jimmy, Jimmy, listen to me! Okay. Oh, here we go. The hell with you! Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force. Fuck it. Well done, Sarah. Where you going, my love? <clears throat> alert! Alert! 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down. Oh. Where is it? Whatever. Yes, yes, I got it, I got it. Oh, I gotcha. oh you bitch. That's the last of them. Nope, there's one more. 
I saw Jim go scurrying in the eyes. For use against all <sighs> trespassers. Right here. Warning. Perfect. Deadly force is authorized. Fucking Jiminy Crockett. Tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here. But you didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, we know what we're doing. Much cold blooded murder. <laughs> Pretty much cold blooded murder. It's all true. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? God, this is my fault. I, I don't understand. You should fault. have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? Sorry. David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit. And that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I don't classified know. project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He, he must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You have stopped? It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. 
Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> You know, this would work a bit better if so far it wouldn't have been all that just stereotypical bullshit. And there we go again. Some more stereotypical bullshit. Textbook zombie apocalypse. Uh, oh no, I was part of it. Uh, oh no, we should have never known it long. Oh no. Uh, the power we know patient zero. Where the greenhouse is why. Okay, um... It's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. You think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Couldn't take the risk. Why would you want to turn turn off the fences? So it can become overrun? Is that it? Power building, yeah, that's uh it's gotta be it. Fucking cruise. And the career nests. <laughs> Bitches. Does it? <laughs> oh, you sons of bitches. Wait, that's not it. That does Wait. it. Burn you little bastards. Where's the got goddamn nest? Oh there it is. Ah, oh, bitches. They piss off you little shits. I say this mission here is quite quite big and quite quite long. All right, you know what? We're gonna do that rest over here in the next episode. I'm not sure what how long this is gonna take, so uh, we're gonna take a break here. And I mean, I don't think there's gonna be much more in here. We're gonna radio Lost Lake Camp, and then we're all gonna be just fan. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. And it has been a pleasure to see a woman cry. I always get a hard on with that one. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Um, a couple of days gone. See you then. Goodbye, bye.